Okay, good. So, can you believe it? We've done it three days. Yay! Yes. Yes. Are you fired up now? <laughs> so, okay. So we've talked about three different things, right? So design approaches and design thinking, and then system thinking and system approaches, and then business synthesis and business um, business um, analysis. And then it all came with the mindset. Did you notice that? Did you notice that every day came with mindset and tool set? Mindset and tool set, okay? We think that's super, super important. And then did you notice everything is connected? Do you see that? First day, you were working with the post-it notes, okay? Doing brainstorming. Next day, you were drawing a lot of diagrams. Today, you were calculating. But they're all connected. Like we talked about this when we were talking about pricing. Okay, value proposition. Everything is connected. Okay, so that's what you need to do. That's what you need to know. You don't have to be able to good at everything. You can find your good friend to do it with you. However, you need to understand everything is connected. Your first brainstorming, that is connected to the pricing. That is connected to the MQ. Okay, so everything is integrated. So I hope that really sits in your brain and heart. And then, okay, you've covered these three aspects and some techniques. Now you're ready, okay? Sort of ready, ready to start running, okay? You have you, you. This is like a basic training, basic training. You need to you need to have it all, okay? You need to have it all, and to to start this journey. So it was um, global innovator acceleration program, and then this is a wrap up. So do you still remember innovation examples that I showed you? Yeah, I'm not gonna play everything, but I'll just show it while I'm talking. So it was uh, the band-aid idea that comes with the, the, the marrow donor kit. You thought this is okay, just a flash idea, but can you generate something like this? Can you monetize? Can you spread your words to the world just like they did? Can you achieve this? Okay, so you saw Small Business Saturday from um, American Express. Do you recall it? Your memory? Yes. So this is done by big company. So it's not entrepreneurship. But if you work for American Express, can you write a plan for this? Can you execute? Can you manage this team? Okay. And maybe you were laughing at this song in Puerto Rico, right? But if, you know, think about it. If you work for a bank in Puerto Rico and your people are not working, can you come up with this idea and execute and make them work? Can you do that? Can you pull that off? So, yeah. I like this atmosphere because first day you were almost laughing, you know, you had some smiles when you first saw these videos. But now you can look at this video very differently because you kind of see, you kind of see him or her, someone, like um, working their ass off to make this happen, right? And absolutely they're innovators, right? You can kind of see that, you can kind of feel that. Right, so I think that's really, really important, okay? The first day, you didn't know that. You didn't know this kind of happens naturally. This occurs. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's planned, it's, it's executed, and it's managed. And there is a man or woman behind this. So that's the feeling I really want you to get through this three-day course. And then I... Hopefully, we covered all the aspects. We didn't cover the every details, but we all the, uh, all the important aspects of, of these three videos. And of course, you cannot do that right away, but at least I want you to become innovative, okay? At least to, to, to stand in the starting point, you have to start thinking innovatively. Different approaches, different goals, repurposing. You have to survive. You have to survive with new ideas. So I know you were laughing at this, right? Contracts. But 
Can you come up with something like this and execute and change people's behavior and mindset? So thinking innovative is very important and sometimes it's difficult and doing it is more difficult, okay? So this was our KO Edge short course program. So we covered, so this was the, the capability structure. I hope uh, you have some in these little boxes, right? These three boxes that, that we covered and hoping, or at least now you're curious about interdisciplinary approaching new value creation, right? And the first day, this was the mindset from IDEO, remember? Human-centered, it's collaborative, optimistic, and experimental, right? We did not cover everything. You can read tons of materials from IDEO and D-School. Don't read the others, okay? Because Buddha is still alive, so we should talk to Buddha, or we should, you know, listen to Buddha. After he passed away, we can, you know, talk to his deshi, but yeah. They're still alive, you should, we should talk to them, right? So this was our first day. It was a, this box right there. Next day, I've talked about system thinking as a whole, as a part, interrelationship of parts, and me see boundary. You want to be careful with the boundaries and multiple viewpoints. Remember all the all the even though not not only two second day, but first day and today, they're all different viewpoints, right? But they are interrelated. Okay, they're interrelated. And then level of abstraction. This is important for any kind of topic. Even the MQ, even the um, Fermi estimate, the level of abstraction is so important to keep track of everything. Okay? And today, we've talked about business synthesis and analysis. Okay? Um, so, Hashiguchi-san covered value proposition, unit economics, and marketability. We didn't talk much about profitability, but he did, kind of, right? So, you, you, you need to be thinking. And then, of course, not only this, but it's iterative. Everything is iterative. So, and then, do you still remember? You need to think innovative. This is true. This is true for any material that we cover. You need to think innovative, and diversion, conversion thinking, and then insight. Okay, even though you are dealing with finance, business, you still get insight. He used the term insight several times during his lectures. He gets insight by thinking about money, thinking about maybe profit, thinking about um, quantity of the product, you get insight. So insight is everywhere. But you want, you want to find the insight that can drive you. Not the new idea, but drive your project, drive your business. Okay, thinking outside of the box for a new value proposition. You want to orchestrate implementation for a solid start. And solid start does not mean going talk to venture capital, but you, know, you need to start your business or you need to start your idea. And then, of course, accelerate penetration, the growth. You're aiming for the growth. And hopefully, at the end, you want to be recognized as an initiator for this, right? Innovation. The process of turning opportunity into new ideas and of putting these into widely spread practice. I hope this sounds different from first day. Does it? Does this sound different? Do you think this kind of looking like a, your goal this is something you want to do, good. Because we've talked about how can we turn our opportunities, find opportunities and turn it into new idea. And we've talked about how can we spread it, right? So we've talked <laughs> about Solshin Fukyu. And I love that you have changed your mind. This was just a terminology, ju just a definition in the first day of the first 30 minutes. But now, this is your purpose, maybe. This is more, this is more meaningful to you now. And I hope you became someone like this now. Someone who aims new value proposition creation and a solid start, no matter if you want to start a company, if you want to start a project, I don't care, but solid start. And then you aim for growth. And then you look for insight, you try to implementation, and then accelerate. And you can ideate, you can structuralize, and you think different all the time. And then, of course, we did not explicitly talk about this, but you are not only in the how domain, or how and what can you know, flip around, but it, it depends on how you define. You're not only here, you always need to think you've been thinking about what and why. This is super important. No matter where you are, what you are doing, you have to be thinking. 
You have to be thinking about why if you're a CEO, but if you work for a big company and working for a project, you still need to, keep, to be keeping thinking about why, okay? You need to be communicating about why level as well. So, from tomorrow, you can start thinking innovatively, start thinking in an interdisciplinary mode, and start thinking to create new values, and start thinking implementing the new, new value, and start thinking the growth, and start applying design thinking and its techniques, start applying system thinking, system approach, thinking and of course techniques, and applying business synthesis and approaches, okay? And you need to start doing, okay? Otherwise, you will become innovation man in the video. Ah, oh, I forgot about implementation. Don't be like him, okay? Now you're ready to start doing. You're not ready, okay? So, this is my last message for the lecture. Think innovative, create new and unique values, and be friend with uncertainty, and aim growth. It's, I'm not talking about the money, but if your idea, if you think it's good, and if you think that will be appreciated by somebody, grow it, okay? People will appreciate that. Um, we are not talking about money, but we're trying to make people happy, right? That's the new value. And of course, you need to enjoy. And did you notice that all the lectures and all the people that teach this class are really happy, easygoing people? Yeah? <laughs> well, yes, I think that's so common for entrepreneurs, entrepreneur type people. We, we were talking last night, and then, you know, you should hang out with the right people. So I think you know, if you meet the right entrepreneur type person, he is usually really fun or she is really enjoying her life, even though she or he seems to be, from you, are like facing the big risk. But I don't know, we love it so much. We love it so much. We used to work for, I used to work for a big company and I love that too. I loved that too, but I know that I'm cut it out for here. I, I'm cut it out for an entrepreneur, more of a, more of a big company guy. I, I realize, I start to realize that now. So, you, if you can enjoy this, I think you are. You can consider yourself entrepreneur in a global context. Okay. And then this everything in a scale of global. Okay. So, m many of you started your um, tell me estimate from Japanese population. Right? We were kind of disappointed. I wanted to see 7 billion at the top of your list. 70億って始める人がいなかったのが残念. <laughs> because how many people do you think you can, you can make them happy with your new value? Okay? You need to start thinking. You need to start thinking. Don't think just too big and forget about uh, details. Okay? I want you to be able to think about 7 billion and the person next to you. Okay, you need to go back and forth. You need to go back and forth. But, you know, 1.2 billion does not mean anything. No, there is 7 billion people on this planet. So, and there is the people around you. So that's the scale that you, I want you to become, to become entrepreneur in global context. And I hope we provided you with a global context atmosphere and environment, yeah? For, for three days because we've been doing it in English and Japanese and we had some different nationalities and we had different people with some different um, global background, right? So I hope you enjoy that and I hope you appreciate that. So this is it for this short course. Thank you for joining us for three days and I hope we really enjoyed it. I hope you did as well. But before I, we let you go to the to the hub and get drunk. I mean, <laughs> there are some information that I need to pass out, okay? So, this is the end of our coursework. Okay, this is the coursework. Did you like it? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Can you do it, can you do this from tomorrow? And then become like this in the future? Okay, good. So, yes. And then this is just a starting point, so you need to be doing this. And then to, to help you to do this, we, are, we have prepared our program for project work, 
right? So this is this is a complete set three days, but now we have this as a as a sequential uh, program so that we provide you with a little bit more um, guided active le learning. Okay, so this is a part of this innovative thinking. It's a project work, and um, so there will be two types. Since we have um, Professor Ikeda from SFC, he will talk about the said, Oh, yeah. Can you wait for a second? Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. <laughs> right. So there will be two types of PBLs. Okay, and then SFC type, I will let the uh, Kira Sensei give the talk, but this is not in, in my scope, okay? My scope is a SDM type PBL, which is, um, which we will have um, about 16 of you to, to ask you to come to the PBL, and then um, it's gonna be um, for until, um, until end of the February, okay? And here is how it looks different, okay? So, SFC type PBL, you will hear about it, about it from um, Kira Sensei, but you will be focusing a little bit more on how to solve, how to implement area, okay? Because you will be a great help, you will um, get a great help from professors at SFCs, and if you and your team has been working on this why and what area, but for this segment, you will be focusing here, spending more time here. For KOSDM type project-based learning, you'll be spending more time why section and trying to try to clarify why and then trying to align what and how. Okay? So your, your deliverable output will be different. They will be more tangible, more more um, more um, yeah tangible. And then SDM type will become a little bit more uh, business plan type or intangible maybe. Okay? So that, that will be the difference. And um, so, still the same structure, exactly the same structure, and the, the same stuff that you learned here, nothing more than that. Now I'll let you do it, okay? But we won't just let you do it, but we will help you to do it, all right? So, so this is the structure that we will have in project-based learning. Now you were here, 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 but that's, we, we consider it done, all right? Now you, I want you to apply it, in an interdisciplinary approach way, and I want you to try to create new value creation. And this is where your domain knowledge kicks in, okay? Your engineer, your artist, your business person, that's where your domain knowledge kicks in and adds up with all the things you learned in three days, okay? Can you imagine yourself doing that, kind of, right? And then, just to add a, a hint to this, we're gonna have this, this plain English uh, communication skills. This is under development, but it's gonna be fun. Um, so I will make you talk like Steve Jobs. No, <laughs> maybe not, but maybe at least like me, all right? So more comfortable talking about concept, more comfortable about talking about the higher level abstraction things, okay, in English. Even though you have a less vocabulary, that's, you can do it. So that's what we're hoping. And um, so this is a slide I showed you earlier. And um, so we will ask you to deliver um, the, the, the project or the fascinating business design result, okay? So that will be um, your project-based learning goal, and then uh, we will guide you um, towards that. And then, of course, the, the, all of the instructor you've, you've seen in three days, they will be there, or you, you will be seeing more. We will be seeing more. There will be a Tako-san, the, the, the guy who wrote the book with him, uh, with Hachikutsan, is coming, and um, it's going to be fun. So, and, um, right, so, um, Kira sensei do you want to talk about the SFC type PBL? Yeah, sure. Yes, please. Wow, it's pretty difficult to speak something after this impressive ending of the <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and also it's pretty difficult after the, the, the talk with my broken English, after the, the, this fluid guy. <laughs> okay, but actually this is since, oh, okay, uh, but I will, Switch it to Japanese now, that is, because I, I want to avoid the, the misunderstanding that I want to save time, so. 
but you know, maybe later on, if you are someone who uh, cannot understand Japan, Japanese explanation, I will explain it to you after this. I will be joined to the reception party after this. That is one of my uh, biggest purpose when I come here. <laughs> anyway, I, actually, I want to correct your impressions, uh, your uh, opinions, or your uh, changes of the mind after this one. That is why I come here. This is serious. Anyway, I will speak to Japanese, okay? えっと、今説明をあの、ちょっとしてくれたように、これからあの、えっと、このグローバルイノベーション人材育成プログラムというのは、ご存知のことと思いますが、え、SFC コスト。それから、あれ、SFC コスト、え、それからあの、SDMコ
実際には SFC のは皆さんご存知と思いますが、えー、たくさんの既存のプロジェクトが動いてますのでその中から探してくることもできますし、えー、もちろんこっちの上にいるような SFC の今いる先生方が、えー、サポートしてくれるあるいは、えー、我々も実はいろんな外部のアドバイザーの団体に支援をお願いしようとしてますのでその方々が今日みたいに集中ワークショップの講師にもピッチャーとかが来てくれるんだと思うんですが僕はピッチャーとまあ十分声が大きいので、えー、ここに使いましょうか大丈夫だあだ名さんはいえー、ちょっと何じゃないかと思いますが、まあ、あのこういう仕組みの中で、えー、と海外の海外留学あの協力先からプロジェクトパートナー留学生というのを、えー、一緒にやってもらうというような部分も考えています、まあ、こういうふうにあの実は、えー、と自分たちでプロジェクトを探してきてとこういうふうに考えてましてちょっとそんなこと言われてもイメージができないんじゃないかというんでこれはあの僕のやっている今、えー、池田研究室の学生が、えー、例えば今やっていることをこれに当てはめるとっていうようなことで説明してますが我々たまたま今理工学部さんとも、えー、協力をこうして、えー、エコハウスを一件デザインして、えー、作ったりしていますで、えー、こういうのが、まあ、この中で使われているいくつかの技術みたいなものを国内の企業さんと話して例えばこのエカハウス市場という形で、えー、この場合には実は、えー、とベトナムとかを想定してますけども、えー、そういうところで日本政府との二国間カ,カウンクレジット移転システムっていうのが実はありますがそういうビジネスモデルを使って、えー、品質できないかとでこれを、えー、実際にフィールドワークでやってくださいというふうに考えてましてちょっとこちらの。あまり資料がすいません準備できてないので、えー、今明日そのデビュー予定のガイドラインの方を皆さんにちょっとお見せして説明しますが今説明したのはこの辺で、まあ、この辺りを説明しましたねで、えー、基本的にはなるためにはえっ、ー、とえー先行入学生を除いて通常は3月か9月 SDM コースのこの集中ワークショップを受けてから入学することもできますし SFC は9月からも入学できますので、えーまあ、入学だけじゃなくて、えー、と誰がなれるかっていうと SFC の場合にはまあ基本的に慶応の学生だったらまずなれてもらうそれから社会人の場合にはまず、えー、とこれになりたいから慶応の入学生になるためには科目通り修正という仕組みが、えー、ありましてそいつに申し込んでいただくと、えー、もちろんその時にあの推薦教員がいるんですがそれによって学生になることができますで、えー、科目取り修正になってから、えー、入るということにいいここにましょうか社会人は募集に関係だし、えー、特別学生、えー、科目取り修正リサーチスチューデントというふうに英語では言っていますがとしてなってから、えー、入学することになります、えー、基本的にあのサーティフィケートというのを出すことにしておりますので、おさじきですね、えー。集中、この集中ワークショップ、入学前に必要ですけど、集中ワークショップ。それから先ほどの海外フィールドワーク、海外プロジェクトで必ず2週間から4週間前ぐらいの間、海外に行って、その自分の考えたプロジェクトの実現性についてのフィールドリサーチをしていってくださいと。こういうこと。それからな大学院でプロジェクト科目を取ってください。そして最後にグローバルイノベーションフォーラムで発表してください。この4つをちゃんと全部やると、あなたはサーチフィケート、えー、この SFC コースプロジェクトワークを全部移住しましたよっていう、そういう,うーサーチフィケートをもらえることになって、えー、います。で、一方であの支援という形で、今との裏返しですけども、こうしたプロジェクトをやるためにかかるさまざまなお金、が SFC コースの場合にはそれを学生に出してあげるというのはもう一つの仕組みですで先ほどリサーチグラントといったのはそういうのがありまして実際に海外のフィールドワークに行くための旅費とかそれからいろいろプロトタイプのモデルを作るための費用とかそういうものを出してそれから
プロジェクトコーディネーターっていうのがありまして、えー、先ほどのこの図の時にあったこの海外連携協力先の人たちが、えーまあ、ある意味ではプロジェクトのパートナーとして、えー、いろいろアドバイスを君たちにしてくれます、まあ、アドバイスをしてもらうのにただでアドバイスしてもらうわけにいかないのでその人たちは大学から SFC からお願いして君たちのプロジェクトコーディネーターこういう職についてもらうことになります、えー、以上が大体 SFC コースの仕組みでして、えー、詳しいことはこの後ガイドライン等が、えー、明日以降出ますのでそれを見てからあとまだ今日の時点で僕も説明できたい人はこの後レセプションなどでお話を聞いてもらえればと思います以上です So, okay, so that's the SFC type, and then for SDM type, we are just starting from this weekend. So, I will let you know、um, who, uh, are, who is coming to the,、um, this PBL. And if you are busy or you're, you cannot attend the PBL or you do not want to be、uh, selected as a project based learning course for SDM, please sign up that sheet. Just give a A、uh, small check on your name so that we will not select you for the project based learning. Because, yeah, I know your conditions. So、um, it's not mandatory. It's not mandatory to become a candidate. You can choose to become, choose to become a candidate. And if you become a part of this、um, project based learning, then it's going to start on the 6th and it's going to be a brief introduction for your project based learning. <coughs> And every other week, we will ask you to come and present your work. Okay? And every,、um, so it's going to be every other week. So we expect, and then you will be working with a team of four. Team of four, and probably be a good mix of、uh, different, multi different disciplines. And we will、uh, let you、uh, work in our lab. And I, will, I will introduce you to the lab、uh, later on, but that you can use it for your group work. Okay? It's our lab for KO Edge. So, yes. And then、um, you're going to do a、um, small presentation, like, almost like a progress report, but small presentation so that we see you, your progress. And then we will give you,、um, e、in each team, individual advices from different, different perspectives every other week. So that's how we do our project based learning.、Okay? So you run yourself for two weeks. And then you come and present, and you get feedback from our,、um, your instructors, and you have a time to discuss with us. Okay, so that's how you do it. And then we're going to have internal final presentation and on, the, on the March 4th, I mean February 14th. And there is two weeks before KO Innovation Forum. What do you do in two weeks? You're going to brush up your presentation. You're going to be speaking like Barack Obama or Steve Jobs. <laughs> Okay. We want to, we will, you know, for KOSDM、um, for project、um, based learning and SFC project based learning, we want to do this presentation in, in English.、Okay. And after that, Edge Forum, 13 schools will get together and then will be a presentation. And I don't know about other teams, what language they choose to do, but hoping that. All, only the KO team will be presented in English so that we look kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. But many other courses are doing in, in some parts in English, so I don't know what it will be. Okay? And I want to, you to remind so you are now proud、um, survivors of the short course. Yay! And you're part of our alumni now. Okay? We, we will set up the alumni. Premium card. <laughs> We're still talking about it. So I will give you all the premium, whatever, the goods. Okay? And so it was you here attending、um, the first year. Now your, your last task is that you want, you, I, will, I would like you to、um, you know,、um, recruit us, recruit、uh, your friend for us. Okay? Because You are the most reliable network we have right now because you know what we're talking about and you know who might be suitable for things like this. Okay? <coughs> so you're the most reliable network we ever had for KO Edge. So we're rely relying on you. 
Okay, and we know who introduced who, so if he or she is a not so so person, then we know you're, where you live. So no. <laughs> All right, and then uh, we we're hoping that your friend will join us, you know, and then um, and also we're hoping you come back as a mentor, or you can just stop by, or you can you know like you know scout around like we did, and then maybe get some questions and help them, you know. Don't be like a you know like a like a senior member in your, you like I get no, I'm not I'm not asking for that, you know. You 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 have experience, so you can share the the. The, the difficulty you can you you can understand their pain so I want you to become a mentor you know peer mentor and not help them but support them in, in various ways okay so that's what we kind of expect and then from next year for this course we are uh, expecting some um, overseas students namely um, Indian Indonesia and India we are actually going to India in February to recruit um, guys from India, and we're so excited about this because Skype, you know, we have been Skyping with India over, you know, and then it's very difficult. Think about it. Talking Indian English over Skype, yes, it's a, it's a beyond your toic 990 <laughs> points, okay? It's very difficult. Yes. So, so we want to create this um, KO Edge ecosystem, okay? No matter your SFC or SDM, we want you to keep coming back, and then you, I want you to become um, a good friend with KOSDM and KOSFC and KO um, Science and Technology um, Edge program in the, in the future. And then it, it's only fed for three years, we're hoping to continue this. And like I said on the first day, now you are a proud member of our KO Edge alumni. Okay? So we will try to get this um, together, and then I'm hoping I'm hoping to have some, somebody in this 31 people to become um, host for this year, 20, 2014 short course um, aluminum club, the host. So the host keeps track of the, the, the males maybe, because we have your males, but I cannot, I cannot allow my alumni members to have that, okay? You need to collect the emails of the others, because this is the individual information that you cannot just get it from us. Okay, so if you want to keep track of your alumni members, you need to ask everyone to sign up your alumni um, paper or alumni sign-up sheet. We cannot be a part of alumni, okay, because it's your work. But we would love to work with an alumni club, all right? So that's, I'm, so, okay, to be flat, I'm, I'm looking for a host, okay? I'm looking for a short co course 2014 host. To, to keep track of everyone's um, emails and everything. Okay. So, all right, so by the end of tomorrow, we will send you out. Um, um, so you, you will be welcomed for the uh, project-based learning or um, you will be welcomed for uh, next year mentor, okay? So you will be noticed by the email. Any question? Clear? Good, tired? Yes. <laughs> okay, so the, the first of all, I really appreciate uh, SDM's very enthusiastic lectures and steps, and thank you, thank you very much for your the three days. I found very fantastic lecture. So my question is the, the yes. Now I cannot clarify the precise concept or meanings of business synthesis, mm. business analysis, mm. because the <laughs> yes, so, <laughs> so you know, now okay, Kazuki, Kazuki, we can probably bring that to hub. hub? Yes. Okay. Yes. That's a hub topic. But that's a new word we coined. We we created that word. So we're trying to clarify, and you are part of our clarification okay. team now. Good. Thanks for asking. Okay, so I will visit you. Okay. Yes. Or yeah. Or Hashiguchi san or Tomita san. And one last thing that I wanted to show you. Do you remember me talking about the um, edge, um, edge lab? So we are, there is an edge lab, okay? This is edge lab. Wow. wow. 
So this is Edge Lab in the second floor. You did not see because it does not exist yet. <laughs> but this lab will be ready in the in the early early April. Okay, we're gonna have opening party on the second floor, and then this will be all glass and gonna look like this. And we're gonna have 3D printers, and we're gonna have other um, laser cutters and things like this, and there will be a social area, and you can come back. You are alumni members, and you're always welcome here. Okay, it's a second floor, you need no card, but you need a premium, <laughs> yes, which we are considering right now. But, so, so this edge room will be ready. And then right now for your group work, if you're selected for PBL, there will be a, just a blank white room <laughs> and then a couple tables sitting there. So it's not fancy like this, but you can imagine yourself sitting in here and doing the group work, okay? So, so we will announce you, but I want you to all to come back on the opening ceremony for the, for the Edge Lab, okay? It's gonna be a really cool place so that we can show it off to um, our, uh, the people around us and then you know, we are so proud that we, we can do this with you. Okay, so, all right. Well, again, thank you so much for joining us for a very, very long day and very, very long three days. And we, it was really fun for us and because it was our first trial and it was a very, very first group with KO Edge program. And, and I think we're very proud that it was fantastic. It was fantastic, it was outstanding that a group of people we um, had here because we weren't expecting this. We were expecting that you struggling in English, you struggling in concept, and you struggling in integrating all the ideas that we are teaching. But, I mean, you guys went way beyond our expectations, and I, I can see you can apply these things tomorrow. So, thanks for joining us, and we, we, thank, we thank you for joining us and, and doing, this, doing this with us. And so please come back as a mentor, as a, as a part of our program uh, sometime in the future again. So thank you very much. <laughs> the most important announcement, hub announcement. Already registered, and uh, we have already started. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> That's what I mentioned. Right. It's right on time. So, you, yeah, so please help us clean up the room just a little bit and then let's uh, move on to the hub. And if you're leaving, you can go. And please don't forget to sign up. If you are not attending the project based learning for SDM for some reason, please sign up. Please say no. Okay, please, I need to know because we, we don't want to bother you. Okay, so please check no for that. All right? Yes.